I come bearing donuts. Good morning, Dylan. Good morning, Jack. 1720. You know what my 17 and 20 year old sons are doing this morning? Sleeping. 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 All right, here, grab a donut. No, not that one, I want that one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good morning, Jerry. So what's interesting is you told me that you were starting this morning at seven, but it's 6.50. What's everybody doing? Uh, getting here early so we can get going sooner than later. All right, and what are we doing today? Clean outs. Not only clean outs, but? Your clean out. My clean out. <laughs> What's up, old man? <laughs> Actually, how how old are you, Roy? About 50. About? Above. Above 50, yes. You're older than me, Above and I'm, I'm almost 50. But they say I look younger than Josh. So that's I, I would actually agree with that. So what are we doing here this morning? Well, today, this morning, I'm actually going to finish our maintenance packages, our winter maintenance packages, which are uh, pretty much almost done. And then I'm going to come over and help you guys uh, clean out uh, the bog and the pond at your house. Alrighty, and this is what year for you at Aquascape? It'll be the fifth year. Fifth year cleaning ponds, right? And I'm the healthiest I've ever been. There you go, and always smiling. <laughs> wait, 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 what was that that you just gave Roy? Every morning our, our crew leaders have a job folder. Uh huh. And so for example, today is Roy, Roy is going to go do some winter maintenance on some of our winter maintenance clients today. It's already preset for him, so all he has to do is just show up to the house, make the notes, track his time, and leave the copy for the client, and bring back the white copy for us. All right. Everybody feel bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, full of vim, vigor, and vitality? Yeah, maybe not. Josh, Roy said he's better looking than you. He is. Okay. So, Josh, what year is this for you, Cleaning Ponds? 19. 19 years. Getting prepared for the day, huh, Matt? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, every office has giant cicadas and alligator snappers. <laughs> What's up, buddy? That's Woody. Temporarily holding tank as we're building him his new one. So Matt, show me what you got in the truck. We got a couple clean out takes in here, some buckets for all the slop, some backpack blowers just in case there's some dry leaves. We got a couple of power washers, some extra gas if we need it. <laughs> Pretty standard fare. All right, here's the flotilla. It is just after seven, 7.08 7 a.m. and the guys are off to clean my pond. I love it, this is efficiency and they didn't even know I was showing up today so they were already prepared. Look at that. My pond's gonna get cleaned out by lunchtime. Okay, Jerry, tell us what we're gonna be doing here today. I see the flotilla coming to my house. Yeah, we've got the whole fleet showing up. <laughs> so we're gonna be going over your front feature, getting this guy ready to go and cleaned out for the season. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quiz you. So this is yeah. your, what, 13th month at Aquascape? Yeah. So what's the first thing that our guys do when they get to the property? They show up and knock on the door. Okay, the and what's the 1.5? What's the second thing that they're doing while- So, while the first guy's talking yes, to the client, there you go. the second guy's starting to unload the trucks and get all the gear ready into the backyard. We're kind of lucky because we're in the front for this one, Yep. but they're slowly getting all the gear prepped, so that way something's always getting done while we're- And then what's the first thing after they get the gear unloaded? What are they putting, what are they doing? They're getting the pumps ready to suck out all the water. That's right, so out. as literally, this water, which hasn't run since December, and it's now March, so three and a half months, yep. uh, needs to be pumped out because it hasn't been circulating. The leaves and debris that have blown in over the winter time that you can see, Jerry's gonna pull out of there. Yep. This pond will be drained, cleaned, power washed, and starting to be refilled probably in about two, two and a half hours. Wow, brand new tarps. What happens when you're the second clean out of the season, right? Those are new um, tarps that we have for the underneath our tanks. Uh -huh. It helps reduce any punctures from any like driveway hard surfaces and patios as we're doing our clean outs and stuff. So Jack, I'm assuming you haven't got your pond started yet. <laughs> but you got the boss's pond. You know why? Because he's paying you to start it. All right, it is 722. They left the office at 708. I am close. And Jose is over here doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing, which is going to be dropping that pump in. Everybody's doing something, which is, of course, the goal. So look at that. We've got two pumps. Even better. This uh, 2,000 gallons of water with 7,000 gallon per hour pumps will be probably drained in uh, 20 minutes. I'll go over the back and you tell me, Josh, you're the expert. You've been cleaning my pond for 19 years. So I've never, this is my first time out here. I've never been out here. I'm joking. <laughs> so we're gonna do a full clean out on this one, top to bottom. 
power wash it, drain it, clean the bio falls, do it all nice and ready for you. And then we do a bunch of stuff in the back. We clean all your bio falls out in the back, get the pumps up and running, clean the skimmers, we'll power wash the urns, and then we got your two bogs, the one in the koi pond, we'll drain and rinse that one out, and then your big bog in the back pond, we drain and rinse that then too. And normally it's a team of two, but because my <laughs> my house is the first one of the year, you got everybody starting together, right? Yeah, we got a lot going on, so it's a good thing to do before we go out there and make some more money. Hey, there you go, and it is seven, 724 and the, the three pumps are going in. The Sandhill Crane is saying, hey, what are you doing with my pond? And here it goes, filling up to reuse it because it's, the water is not bad, but obviously just need to clean out the debris that's blown in over the winter time. Now the only thing in here is goldfish. Normally I'd have a floating heater and a bubbler and aerator, but there's just small goldfish that my nephew put in about two years ago, two of them that he wanted to fare, and now there's probably 40 of them, but they don't need any supplemental oxygen because they're just goldfish. Now this pond will not get drained and cleaned. We'll scoop out the leaves that are on the edges, but you can see the water quality is good. And the bigger the pond, the lower the maintenance it is. So this, about every five years, I'll do a drain and clean on this pond. And I've in 20 years on the big pond, I've never drained it, but one time I've sucked out the bottom. And frickin' frack, their peace and tranquility is gonna be disturbed a little bit today. Just for the day though, once a year. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll double check it. Happy hey. wife? Happy life. <laughs> So for 20 years, we've been doing a once a year clean out in the front pond out here, and maybe once every five years on the big pond in the back, and then the huge pond, which is the game fish pond, I have never drained and cleaned because the bigger the body of water, the less maintenance that it requires. So normally this is a team of two guys that goes out and does this, but because this is literally the first project or after Aqualand, the second project that they've done all year, everybody's just starting to get going, but we'll do about 400 clean outs a year. Other customers will do them themselves, other customers won't do them. Sometimes people don't clean their ponds for years on end. Depends on how much quality you want in the water. Also depends on the conditions, how much leaves and debris. And also depends on your climate. Some people leave their water features running year round. Usually not in Chicago unless it's a bigger pond because they don't want to have to add water in the winter time. So this is the simple process that we use to start up and clean. We only do once a year maintenance on most of our water features. As long as people do regular maintenance, emptying the skimmer bag, adding bacteria. And we can do that as a service or they can get products like the automatic doser that will actually treat the water for them. We, one of the problems that we saw with people with their water treatments was they weren't adding them. This is how Aquascape for 20 years has been maintaining water features just like this. So Jerry, let's look at the wetland, okay? Yes. So not draining the bigger, bigger pond, but we definitely need to clean the wetlands out once a year, right? Yes. This is the wetland filter for Greg's main game fish pond in the back here. Million gallons, 14 feet deep. And so we got the wetland filter here and over there. So as the guys make our way in the back here, we will go ahead and stop, turn off the pumps, which are actually just behind Greg over here. But we'll rinse all this down, get all the gunk out of here. That way we know that it's got some proper water flow coming from the pump intakes. And show us the snorkel clean out over there where you'll be dropping the pumps. This wetland, it was the very first wetland we ever built. Back in 1999, <laughs> the trees literally, you can see how long it's been there when you see the size of the trees that have grown up here. <laughs> this is where we'll drop the pumps out. That way we know it's getting all the water out of the system because it's an upflow system, but it'll all get sucked out from underneath there. So we only access that once a year. That is the snorkel. Centipedes are in here. Aqua blocks are on top of it. This is how old this is, Jerry. We built this wetland before we had aqua blocks. It was just rock and gravel. Oh yeah. And what was cool was when we actually took this out and disassembled it, maybe in uh, mid 2000s, we assumed that there'd be a lot of gunk built up between the rocks and gravel and there wasn't because the bacteria had always been breaking it down. The pumps for this, 
this, the intake bay sits right here. Underneath this giant stump here, you can actually hear them. This is where the intake vaults are, and it just skims the surface off. So you're gonna take those out. All three of those pumps, get them out of there, off to the side, get all the gunk, clean this whole area up, to make sure that yeah. it's impeding water flow. Yep, all of the cattails and things like this, but literally this is a once a year cleaning on a pond this big. The bigger the body of water, the less the maintenance that there is. Wanna go for a swim? No. <laughs> That water is probably 50 degrees. There's freaking frack defending their territory. <laughs> all right, bullies. Yeah, they're all proud of themselves. <laughs> Celebrating. Biofalls, once a year cleaning, and Willow, always curious. Smile, Juan. I love my job. I love my job. So what the guys are doing right now is that they are putting back the biofalls that they just cleaned out, rinsed out all the filter mats and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and replace, you see these new ones right here? We're gonna replace anything that has been uh, torn or that needs to be swapped out. We're gonna put in some fresh ones for Greg here today. Uh, we got Juan right here going through the bog filter right here, kind of getting the gunk out of there. Hey Juan, so what are you guys doing right here right now? How are you rinsing the bog filter? So it looks like we got one of the guys here with a hose rinsing down the gravel over here. And we got you two over here. We got the pump down there rinsing, sucking out any of the old dirty water. Is that right? Yeah. Awesome. And this is exactly what we're gonna do for the bog filter way over here for the far pond. Josh, what were you just talking to Micho about? I was asking Micho what he knows about well water in regards to ponds and fish. What did you say? I was clueless. Clueless, okay. What, that's that's great. Be honest. This is what we're trying to achieve. And so, so what were you saying, Josh? One thing, the biggest thing for me with well water is it has lower levels of oxygen inside the water. If you know you're out at a pond, especially a smaller pond that has well water and you're filling it back up, A, try to make the hose, end of the hose like that, so it's creating oxygen. Like if they have their aerator in the winter time for there, put that aerator back in. Especially if they have some bigger bear koi and stuff like that. It's you know I, I've seen them I've seen them come to the surface because there's not enough oxygen in the water. So if you're pumping that, that tank back in, make sure that, that the end of the clean out hose is above the water level and it's going in and making those bubbles and stuff like that to make more oxygen for them. I mean, ideally you don't need to do the pond detox for the chlorine because there's no chlorine in well water, mm -hmm. but it does get out some other heavy metals and stuff like that, so you can still add some. It okay. Be, and it's, it's got the slime coat stuff for the fish, so it, it'd be better just to put some stuff in. So what Josh was saying about the hose and how it's spraying into the water feature, this is what he's talking about. So it's generating bubbles and stuff kind of like a waterfall just serving the surface whether it's your garden hose or it's your discharge hose that's filling this back up but we also have the aid of this aerator which he also mentioned as well looks like we got everything wrapped up in the front of greg's house that's all done and taken care of so now we are in the backyard we've already got a decent amount of the stuff done back here but as you can tell i'm wearing a raincoat and a hood so it is definitely raining. We are still trucking along. We're still working in this weather, even though it might not be the most enjoyable environment to work in. The key thing for us is that we are helping our clients enjoy their water feature uh, by doing this work for them. Um, and they are paying good money for this kind of service. So we want to make sure that we're delivering as much as we can for our clients so they can enjoy their water feature sooner than later in the season. And this year we are getting a fairly early start. I think this is one of the earliest 
if not the earliest start to our spring cleanup season. We are on pace, provided everything works out scheduling wise, to be 66 cleanouts done by the time our season would normally start, which, be, which would be the week of April 1st. And so fingers are crossed and we're hoping that we can maintain that pace and that will give us a great jump start on this year's spring cleanup season. <laughs> 